if you can sum up, and I'm sure it's it's very difficult to do so, but if you can sum up what it actually means to be the captain of Scotland. Yeah. Um, I think that that is something that I find very difficult to explain exactly what it means. Uh, it's obviously a huge honour. It's something that I'd sort of, I'd sort of dreamed about when I was a little boy, but it's never something I thought I would actually get a chance to do. So to be able to do it is just incredible. But now, obviously, it's not enough just being named captain. It's also about making sure that we that we do well. After building you up with that first question, what do you actually do as captain? Oh, not a lot. <laughs> nah, it's uh, no. I find as well, it's not just about me. You know, I view it very much as a leadership team, and we've got leaders right throughout the squads, and I look to them, uh, and they are a huge help over the course of the week. And I find that I save most of my talking until later on in the week. But in saying that, when it comes to game day, I find it's just important that I lead by example. I think that, that you could get by as a captain on, on doing the minim minimum of what a captain should do, but I don't think you're that type of guy. So how, how much, if you like, how much extra do you think you need to bring to a role like captaincy? What qualities do you really need to have? I think that first and foremost, I need to make sure that I am playing well and that I'm setting an example through my playing. I also find that uh, I find it very difficult to switch off from it. So I'm always thinking about it. I'm just thinking of little things I'd like to say to the boys or I'll be speaking with some of the other leaders and we'll be discussing things. And so, yeah, I just, uh, I just like to always think about it and just think of little ways I can speak to the boys which will help us to get a bit of an edge. Scotland played Japan in 2010, I think just before they headed out to, to Argentina, and it wasn't yep. a capped match. Yep. And I, I think Scotland won by about 15, 15 to 20 points. Mm -hmm. What will be the difference between the Japan team that Scotland played in 2010 and the team they play on Saturday? As a nation, they've grown massively. If you look at their games over the past year, you know, they beat Wales. OK, it wasn't a first-choice Welsh side, but it was still a very, very strong side. Uh, they've got really good, really good structures in place. And they're a nation that are looking forward to hosting the World Cup in, in 2019. So there's no doubt that they are improving the, all of the time. And we're expecting an incredibly tough test. And in terms of looking towards the two games that follow the Japan match, how important in terms of your momentum and I suppose supporters' momentum as well, mm. is it to get that, that win on Saturday? There's no doubt that we need to start well. As players, we're not looking at the second or third games. You know, we're focused solely on this first game. But as you said, it's important that we really start well and that we get the autumn series off to a flyer. I'm, I'm putting myself in the in the position of the Japanese standoff and I'm looking at the set piece and I'm looking at your back row uh, packing down and I'm thinking that's quite a that's quite a fearsome <laughs> a fearsome unit. I mean that's a, a very abrasive back row that you're in for Scotland. Yeah it is and I think one of the things throughout the team is that we've got a lot of strength and depth and so I feel lucky that I get the chance to start this week as do all of the guys on the team and it's up to us to make sure that we play well and that we set the bar really high. Somebody you know well on, on the bench but as a back row replacement John Barkley he's been playing his, his rugby in Scarlets you obviously played with him at Glasgow yeah. um, the kind of player that perhaps if the game fragments later on mm -hmm. as a ball carrier and someone who wins the ball could be a a very useful addition to that value. Yeah, I think so. And it's great to see. I know that John was injured in the summer and so I know that he was very disappointed to miss out on the summer tour. But it's great to see him back. 
as you say, he's very, very strong over the ball and a really good link man. And I'm sure he'll he'll get a good chance to play on Saturday.